going to be doing some balance poses today, not only to help improve balance, but also increases muscle strength in your legs. So we will be using a chair. So make sure you grab a chair that is sturdy, that does not move, does not have wheels on it. And um, this way it'll help us make sure we maintain balance and posture. Now you can go with or without shoes while you're doing this. I do recommend that, that as a progression for you, that you work to going without shoes, unless of course medically it's necessary that you wear shoes. Um, doing balanced postures barefoot actually helps you build up a lot more muscle strength in the feet, um, which can help you with better balance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in mountain pose and place your left hand on the chair and then bring your right knee up. Now keep a soft bend in the left leg. And for some of you, if you just wanna bring just your toe up, or you can bring it all the way up. And bring your right hand to chest. Put your gaze on one object that doesn't move and then bring your left hand. So what's important with these balance poses is that you challenge yourself. So if you need to bring your knee up higher, or if you need to bring it back down to the toes, or you need to touch the chair, you do what challenges you. And if you want a greater challenge, you can go ahead and bring your arms up. Just make sure not to hold your breath. And just continue to hold this pose. Going back to holding the chair whenever you need. And so if you have your arms up, bring them back down and hold on to the chair. Let's move over to the other side. Okay, so right hand on chair. In mountain pose, soft bend in the right leg, and then bring your knee up. And like I said, you can just start right here. Here's just your toe or knee up. And bring the left hand to chest. And if you're ready, bring the right hand. You can bring that knee up as high as you want. And you can bring your hands overhead if that works for you. That chair is always there to support you because if you notice as we hold balance poses it's like we're trees in the wind a little wobbling a little shaking but that's not only that shows your balance improving but that also is showing the use of the muscle strength of your legs Okay, if your arms are up, bring them back, hold on to the chair, and release, shake it out. Okay, go ahead and move your chair over to this other side. So what we're going to do right now is a star pose. And so place your left hand on the chair, and you want to move yourself out so that your arm is extended out. And then as you bend your elbow, you're going to almost look like a pendulum. Bring your right leg up. And once you're comfortable with that, you can bring your right arm up. Remember, don't completely lock out that left knee. And how you can challenge yourself is by going deeper into this. Or bring your left arm up. And open up into a star. So you can always keep your hand in the chair and just keep opening up, opening up. And wherever you're comfortable, go ahead and hold. And bring your left hand back to the chair and come on back down. Other side. I have to be really careful with my chair because I have my faithful workout companion, Boo Boo. Right hand on chair, step away so that your arm is extended. And as you bring your elbow down, like a pendulum, 
up comes your left leg. And you can bring your arm overhead. Remember, don't have that, don't have that supporting leg locked out. And to challenge yourself, you can move into it a little deeper. And finally, you can do both hands, both arms up. Be very easy to hold your breath during balance poses, so you want to be careful about that. And bring your right hand back down the chair. Release. Shake your legs out. Okay. Chair to the other side. So we are going to do a mop. I'm sorry, almost got my boo-boo with the chair. I'm sorry, boo-boo. So we're going to do a modification of what's called eagle pose. And so with eagle pose, hand on chair, you want to slightly sit back and then you're going to take your right leg and bring it over your left. It's like you're about to cross your legs, like you're sitting down cross your legs. And you'll see my left toes are next to my, my excuse me, my right toes are right next to my left, but there's no weight on my right toes. So all the weight right now is on my left leg. And once I'm comfortable with that, I can bring one hand up, and this is not easy. Yeah. So keep, make sure you're not coming forward. So keep your weight on your heels. And then if you're ready for a progression, you can take your leg and you can wrap it all the way around. And then once you're in that position, place your hands to your chest. And for those of you who need a further progression from this, you can sit down. And hold your pose. Inhale and exhale. Bring your left hand to the chair and unwrap your leg. Let's go to the other side. I think one of the reasons why I love balance poses so much is they also really help you improve your concentration. So right hand on chair, slight sit like you're seated back. Weight is on right side. Bring leg across, toes come next to your right leg, but there's not weight on your left foot. And then make sure you're slightly seated back. Stay here. Or you can bring your right hand meet your left. So this is a very challenging pose. And if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can do full eagle legs which is wrapping around, making sure you keep your hips forward. And then deep, you want to go deeper, you can sit back. And inhale and exhale. My hand goes back and release. Shake it out. Here we're going to do one more pose. Bring the chair over. And we're going to do a modification of dancer, or it could be for some of you full dancer pose. So face your chair and soft, soft bend your knees. Bring your right leg and hold your right leg up in your hand. And so this may be where you're comfortable at, or you can bring it up closer to your glutes. Now, if you want to go into more of a dancer pose, you move your hand so that your hand is grasping the inside of your foot and you bend forward, kind of kicking that foot up. Notice the, the bend in my left knee. And if you'd like to go a little bit deeper, you can move your arm off the chair and kick up a little bit more. Then hold your pose. Inhale, exhale, and bring your left hand back down, and slowly release your right leg. And move your chair, facing 
the opposite side. This time, bring your left leg up in your hands and stay here if this is where you're comfortable or you can bring your foot closer up to your glutes. If you want more, move your hand around grasping the inside of your foot and start to bend forward, kicking that foot up. Keeping those hips lined forward. Slight bend in the standing knee. If you want to bring your arm up and then you can kick deeper into that, your hand. Then hold your pose. Bring your right hand back down and release. Shake it out. So if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, I will be doing a series on balance poses. It's so very important to incorporate this into your workout. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Have a great day. Bye.